Mars looks dead, but dead is doing a lot of work there. Even today, Mars still has an atmosphere. It's just thin. Thin enough that water can't stay liquid for long, but thick enough to create weather, clouds, and massive dust storms that can wrap around the entire planet. Mars also still has water. Not oceans, not rivers, but ice. Locked in the polar caps. Buried underground. Preserved like a fossil record of wetter past. And that's why scientists care. Mars is one of the few places where we can clearly see what a planet used to be and what it became. Its surface hasn't been erased by plate tectonics or heavy erosion like Earth. Mars keeps its scars. That makes it a natural time capsule. Rovers aren't just driving around taking selfies. They're looking for minerals that only form in water. They're drilling into rocks that haven't moved in a billion years. They're trying to answer very specific questions. Did Mars ever have the right conditions for life, even briefly? Not, was there a Martian civilization? Not, can we live there? Just, was it ever possible? Mars also helps us understand Earth. By studying how Mars lost its atmosphere and water, scientists learn what protects our own planet and what could go wrong if those systems fail. In a strange way, Mars isn't about the future. It's about context. It shows us how fragile habitable worlds are and how small changes can snowball and how rare it is for everything to line up just right. Mars isn't exciting because it's alive. It's exciting because it almost was. And sometimes almost tells you more than success ever could.